Packaging Units of Item This presentation will give you an overview on using Packaging Units of Item feature in Busy. Packaging Unit refers to the unit in which the goods are packed. For example, you are purchasing goods in box or cartons and selling them in loose pieces then you can use this option. A special mention here is that if you are using two units that have connection in between them like you have purchased two pieces which weighs total 2 kgs or 1 kgs then you can use the alternate unit of items feature. Basically if the two units are interconnected and are dependent on each other then you have to use the alternate units of item feature. Both the units you are using have no connection other than that that the goods are packed in boxes and sold in pieces then you can use the packaging units of item feature. Basically packaging unit is to be used only when goods are packed in boxes or cartons and you are selling them in boxes or pieces. Other than that these two units have no connection in them. To enable this feature click administration, configuration, features options, inventory tab. In the tab enable the option of packaging units of item. Here you can see on the screen that it is specially mentioned that you should use this feature in case of pieces and box or pieces and cartons. Below that you can see another option uh, alternate unit of item in which it is mentioned that use alternate unit only in cases of pieces and kgs or pieces and liters. Click save button to save the configuration. Now we will create an item master. Here we are creating an item named dairy milk 40 grams specified it groups its main unit as pieces and we have specified its selling price as 20 rupees and purchase price as 70 rupees. That means when this item is sold in pieces then the price will be 20 rupees and 17 rupees on purchasing. Now we have specified the packaging unit of the item which is box and have specified the conversion factor which specifies that one box contains 50 pieces of chocolates. Here we are specifying the sale price in box and purchase price in box. That means if we are selling the whole box then what the sale price is to be applied and when we are purchasing the item in box then what is the purchase price to be applied. Here you can also specify the default unit for sales and purchase. Here we have specified that while entering sales voucher we will be using default unit as pieces and while entering purchase voucher we will be using the default unit as boxes. Click save button to save the item master. Now we will enter a purchase voucher. Enter details related to the header of the purchase voucher. Here we have selected the item as dairy milk 40 grams and we have purchased 10 boxes of this item at the rate of 750 per box. The price is picked from item master. Next we will enter a sales voucher. Enter header related details of the sales voucher. Now we have selected the item as dairy milk and have specified that we are selling 4 pieces of dairy milk chocolate at the rate of 20 per piece. This rate is also again picked from item master where we have specified that selling price in main unit is 20 per piece. So you can have a clear cut idea that with packaging unit you can maintain both the units and separately can maintain the sale and purchase price. Next we will have a look at the reports by using display stock status as closing stock alphabetical balances only one item. Here we have selected the item as dairy milk 40 grams and have specified yes in the show packaging unit also. This means that report will show the item quantity in packaging and main unit. Here on the screen you can see the packaging quantity as 9 box and 46 pieces and main quantity as 496 pieces. It is clear cut showing the item stock in packaging unit as well as main unit of the item. Hope after going through this presentation you would be able to easily use packaging units of items feature in busy. Thanks for watching. For more videos subscribe to our YouTube channel.